Hello everyone. Today I wanted to address the burning question which many of my patients are asking. What is the Russian cancer vaccine? How can I get it? When can I take it? Will it cure my cancer? So every day in the news we see some new discovery or some new development in the field of cancer. But unfortunately in the majority of cases this does not translate into a benefit for the patients down the line. So the Russian cancer vaccine made all the news headlines a few uh, months back. The main reason was that Russia announced that this Russian vaccine would be ready in 2025 and that all our patients, all the patients in Russia would be eligible for the vaccine and they would receive it free of cost. So let's just discuss what exactly is this Russian cancer vaccine. Is it really effective? Is it possible to take this vaccine? And what does the future look like? So the Russian cancer vaccine has been in development in Russia and it is basically an mRNA vaccine. So mRNA vaccines became popular after COVID where many of the newer, the Western uh, companies developed vaccines which modify the mRNA which help mount a response to diseases. So using the same mRNA vaccine principle, the Russians developed a therapeutic vaccine. So when I mean therapeutic vaccine is, this vaccine is not to prevent cancer but it is to treat cancer in a patient who already is suffering from cancer. So there are preventive vaccines and therapeutic vaccines and the Russian vaccine is a therapeutic vaccine. So how is it produced? So the patient's cancer cells are taken from the body and they're taken to a lab where it's then cultured inside a medium and it's cultured there and they kind of modify it and they modify the mRNA in such a way that the body's immunity, the patient's immunity is able to recognize these cancer cells. So these cells are then taken and it's administered back to the same patient as a vaccine and this vaccine will then develop the immunity to counteract these cancer cells. So that is the principle of how this vaccine works. Now what we have to know is that this vaccine is a personalized vaccine. It is only effective in that one patient whose cells we are taking. It is not going to be effective in other patients as well. So why? is the new development talked about so much. The reason is, number one, prior to this, we already have therapeutic vaccines against cancer. Therapeutic vaccines in cancer are utilized in melanoma, which is a type of skin cancer, and it's also used in prostate cancer. However, these vaccines were manufactured with an older technology, and they are not very effective they do help somewhat, but it's not very, very effective. So studies are ongoing to make better vaccines. And in USA also, we have studies regarding, I mean, studies pertaining to mRNA vaccine. The Russian vaccine also became popular because the government has offered it free of cost to all patients. So as we know, anything free is, makes big news in India. Now, how soon can we get the vaccine? As of now, the data which was published or let's say released to media outlets has only tested it on four patients with some mixed responses. We do not know the finer details of how long these responses were, whether patients were fully cured, whether those patients, what kind of cancers they had. So there are a lot of details. And Russia, as we know, has a lot of secrecy regarding its programs. So the publication or the journals have not yet come received the complete information. And also this is right now in a preclinical study. It has not reached clinical usage as of now. This will require more studies in larger number of patients and different types of cancer to actually identify the benefit and see which kind of patients do actually benefit from this treatment. So in conclusion, can we go tomorrow and take this vaccine? The answer is unfortunately no, because right now it's in clinical trials and you cannot take a flight to Russia and take the vaccine or you cannot order the vaccine back to you, back to your home country and administer it. 
is it good news for cancer patients of course yes it is good news uh, the research is there and hopefully we should see some kind of positive responses in the coming few months or years and if it's successful it will definitely make a large impact in the life of many of our cancer patients but for now we'll just have to wait and see i hopefully hope that i made things a little more clear regarding the russian cancer vaccine thank you